Hey there, I'm Mary Gilkerson, and thank you for joining me here in my outdoor office for the day. So I wanna talk a little bit about burnout. We've all been there. You know that feeling where you just are not inspired by what's on the easel, what's in your head, what's in your mind. Nothing's coming easy. Well, hold on, I've got some ideas for you. So number one, step away from the easel. Put down the paintbrush. Sometimes, Actually continuing to paint is not the answer. Instead, I've got some other ideas for you. I want you to remember that when you're painting, you need to draw from your creative well, from your imagination, from the sort of creative juice that drives art. And if you don't have any inspiration, if you're running dry, you've got to recharge that well. So the first thing to do is to step away from the easel, step out of the studio, and if nothing else, at least take a walk. That's one reason I'm out here today, is I needed to get out of the office and away from the computer and away from the studio. So step away, go take a walk. At the very least, take a walk. Another thing you can do, you can go read some books on artists. So even if you can't get to a museum or a gallery, which is another really good idea we're gonna talk about, think about pulling out one of those books by one of your favorite artists. Get a little inspired. Looking at art and art books by your favorite artists can really help replenish that creative juice. Number two, go look at some real art. Again, you gotta get out of the studio. You've got to go feed that well. Go to a museum, go to a gallery, go to a friend's studio, but go look at some real paintings. Look at the texture, look at the color, look at the surface. Number three is to try something totally different. Step away from art altogether. Either train or try something out in a different medium than you're used to using. So for example, if you're an oil painter, try watercolor, try gouache, try pastels or try something totally separate from art. Think about something like surfing, horseback riding, another activity that will take you out of yourself, that's a passion that can fuel your creative fire. And number four, which I think is really one of the most important ones, find a community of artists. Because nothing that I can think of will refuel you, regenerate your creativity, and light your creative spark, like being in the company of other creative souls. So get out there and find your community. Where do you go to find those folks? Well, you can go to your local art guilds, you can go to your local art museum, you can go online to a Facebook group like our Artwork Living Free Facebook group, or you can come away with us, come camp with us. We have paint camp coming up September 12th through 15th, and I can't think of a better way to refuel your creativity, rejuvenate your creative spirit, and make a whole lot of new art friends. To check it out and get further details, go to marygilkerson.com forward slash paint camp 2019. That's marygilkerson.com forward slash paint camp 2019. Happy painting, y'all.